as a cop, you can know anything you want. It means zero if you can't prove it. I couldn't imagine how it would uh, continue to exist without some kind of clandestine uh, affiliation, association uh, with the local authorities. It was just a part of the fabric of Natchez. I mean, Natchez, uh, I compare, Natchez is kind of like a small New Orleans. The mayor knew, the chief of police knew it. It wasn't hidden. People knew, but people just didn't worry about it because it was so normal. We didn't know exactly what she did over there because she was very discreet with it. Nellie's was such an establishment in Natchez, you know, that, that uh, it was just, it was like a local bank. She was a mail order woman for some wealthy man. She come all this way to marry an American. If you say you're from Natchez, Mississippi, there's two things that people will ask you. Did you know Danny Jackson? And have you been to Long Island? She got the Natchez, Mississippi, up from back Nellie Jackson was an intelligent person. She did not look at all like what you would think of a madam. She had contacts all over the country. If anyone had a, a problem with her, it wasn't public. When I was a really young girl and I'd see Nellie's girls walking through town, I thought they were runway models. And I've seen them with the bumpers hanging out in the back. In the street, there'd be so many people up in there. You could tell because of the way her lifestyle was. She liked it the best. She kept every big white house clean and spick and span. The businesses all loved her because she paid cash and she bought lots of stuff. Do you think she had a black book? Mm -hmm. She got her earn that living in between the sheets. She, she was uh, the most sweetest woman in this world with her poodles with her all the time. Many, many students that she paid their tuition, full tuition. You wake up the next morning and you, just, you know, start hearing all this stuff happen. And it just was beyond bizarre. Like I say, a lot of people depended on Nellie Jackson. <laughs>